So, hi everybody and welcome back to my vlog. My name is Liz. I'm a single mom trying to get my life together and I just moved into this apartment over here. Hopefully you can't see the address. I'm gonna have to look at that, but I just moved into this apartment and uh, me and Ethan and Amora, my youngest daughter and my oldest son, are about to go to Walmart because we need some warmer clothes because it is chilly out here, guys. Uh, I just came out here and you know when you see this happening, it's getting cold. All right, guys, it is chilly. It is really chilly. And you know what? I like summer a lot better. But anywho, let's go to Walmart. Guys, now I'm really feeling some type of way right now because we're going by the airport on, on the way to Walmart. And there's this beautiful site right here I'm looking at, the sun. But this other site over here that wasn't so beautiful, now this lady's in, in front of it. All these trucks that they got lined up here. About, oh, I don't know. Yeah, like a ton of them. A ton of <laughs> trucks that have, what do they have on them? They got plows on them, guys. And to me, that is not a good sign because that means that they're getting them out for a reason. And the only reason that they would have plows on them is for that snowy snow, guys. So I have a feeling that's going to be coming soon. Yeah, they got salt in the back of them. Those are the ones they use. So, I don't know. I haven't looked at the weather lately, but maybe we should look at the weather. You should look at the weather. So guys, my phone died. Um, that's why I didn't record in Walmart, but uh, we're back. I'm more fell asleep, but I'm about to get her out of there so I can give her a bath and put some new clothes on here because I got her. Um, this is what I got from Walmart. I'll show you guys what I got. Okay, so guys, I'm recording. I'm about to wake Amora up in a second here so I can give her a shower, but I want to show you guys what I got. All right. Here's her. I didn't get this at Walmart, but we got this in Florida. My dad bought this for her. Um. So anyways. Silicone dish for Amora. It's a plate. Sticks to the table. This is a short little mini Walmart haul, guys. I hope you enjoy this. Shampoo. This is not normally what I would buy, but I just kind of grabbed it. I don't have time to look around. I didn't want to get cheap, cheap stuff, but I didn't want to get like the most expensive stuff. This is what I got. Mouthwash. Guys, the Equate brand is like $3 cheaper. Why is the Walmart brand so much? Or why is the um, Listerine brand so much? I would like to know because I believe it's the same exact thing with a different label. Look at this, guys. And it took me a while to find her size, 12 months, because this wasn't in the baby section. This was, like, in the toddler section. I was, like, going around looking at the, all the baby sizes, like, where are all the 12-month sizes? Like, everybody took the 12 months. And no, they were somewhere else. And then look at this, guys. And you know what? I'm not a big fan of, like, movies or the Grinch. The Grinch is okay. And I think that this is cute because it's got that little Cindy Lou Who and the dog on there. That's cute. You know what I mean? And it's got the little... And plus, they didn't have too much to choose from as far as um, pajamas that had feet on them. In which I did put some... I put some pajamas on my on the Amazon wish list, I think, for Amora. Because um, she doesn't have too many clothes. And I like the stuff that has the feet because she always takes off her socks so it's like i i there's always just socks laying all over the place so i really just want stuff that i can like throw on her like that this with the exception of this i bought this because it was cute um this didn't have feet but look at that adorable and then for me because guys i literally have been losing weight and my my these pants are like very like they're like sagging down on me i have shorts underneath them so it helps keep them up a little bit but in which this is a size small and i don't normally wear a size small but these are the ones that look like they would fit i guess we'll find out i guess we'll find out but they're like a velour type of like velvet type of material and then oh that hurt my knee. All right, sorry about that, guys. Um, I like hit a pressure point. And then this, which the small in this looked a little too small. So I got a medium. So we'll see how that fits. 
I like it because I can like throw my phone in the pocket, you know what I mean? And put the, you know, nice and warm because guys, winter is coming. It's getting cold here. And I'm really not about that life. So, but I still got to prepare myself. So I got this cookie granola. I really hope the thing is still recording. I got these for Amora. Once upon a farm, organic and dairy-free coconut melts with probiotics, no added sugar. I got those for Amora, strawberry banana. And then I also got her these organic sweet potato pick-me sticks. Oh yeah, and wait till you guys see this. It looks so cute on her. I tried it on her. I put it on her and it looks adorable. This little hat, guys, and little mittens. Little mittens, guys. And then I got a calendar because I had to get this because I have to put a schedule on there for the bus drive because Bub is going to be starting to drive a van or drive a van, ride a van to school and they're going to pick him up. So I need to make a schedule and to let them know when he's going to be with me and when he's not going to be with me. So, so they know when to pick him up. And then one last thing. This is cute. I don't know. Just like a sweatshirt. You know what I mean? So guys, something to keep me warm, all right? Because I am not, I'm not built for the cold. I'm really not. I don't know why. I'm just not built for it. Time to wake this little princess up. Amora. Hey. And Jorge got her this outfit. I think I told you guys on the last vlog, but. There, her poor little nose. That's why I gotta give her a bath and wipe her nose and stuff. Her nose been running. And yes, to whoever said or asked if I have allergies, I do believe I have allergies. I And plus, I think from moving and all the dust being kicked up, like my nose has been very runny. Guys, I love my new apartment. I really, really, really do. So guys, I was just coming in the house to close up the door so I could go take this stuff over. And I just, you know, everything's pretty much out of here, guys. But I just noticed this sock right here. One of them wore socks and it says, be happy. So that's a message, I believe. I'm going to take that as a message. And you guys, if you want, you guys can take that as a message too. So be happy. Do whatever makes you happy. Yeah, and then I noticed too because I let Jorge come over here and take apart the, the bigger stuff. That's all that was left here was the bigger stuff. And so he took my he took my stuff apart, which that's great. I appreciate that. And I thanked him. But he also took the hose that was actually a really nice hose that we already agreed upon that I was going to keep. So this is just, I, I don't like that because, you know, if he would have just asked me for it, like said he needed it, I probably would have just said, you know what, here you go. You helped me the past couple days, so here you go. See, this is the sh type of stuff that I don't like. Just ask me. Don't be sneaky. So I just got back. Um, Ethan took out this stuff for me and Jorge had called me and something about he won't be able to get him more till later because he's doing magic show whatever blah 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 and then I, I i was like oh yeah why did you take my hose and he sent me this big long text message well i'll i'll include it for you guys so you can read it it's it's sad because you know i would have just given him that stuff because he helped me if he would have just asked but i guess he felt like i was selling everything that he bought me even though we were married so that's stuff that we bought together so that's just some selfish sneaky shit to do sneaky excuse my French that's just some selfish sneaky thing it's a selfish it's a bad thing to do y'all all right anyways what was I getting at with that oh so yeah I called him but I'm not gonna feed into this I'm not gonna feed into this okay but I told him you're gonna have that on your conscience, okay and he just kept running his mouth and said, I'm recording you. But yeah, that's, you know, that whole situation that just happened right there. That's, a, it's a, it was a very narcissistic thing for him to do. Okay. If you agree with me, put it in the comments. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to be a hater. I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just calling out what I see. All right, guys. So let me get back to business. So I got to go in here, but real quick. Jorge's going crazy texting me and like guys I'm I'm just telling you guys my experience I didn't respond to his whatever he was telling me I didn't respond because I have stuff to do obviously and I'm not gonna let it bother me because I've done that way too much 
so now he's like just blowing up my phone and like this is just you know don't 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 feed into that type of manipulation guys because that is only gonna hurt you feeding into other people's like because he is the one with the problem not me so we're not together anymore he needs to figure out that problem himself so now jorge is just like texting me a bunch of he's just trying to get me triggered he's just trying to get me triggered guys and it ain't gonna happen it's not gonna happen that would have been the old me but this is the new me i gotta get this stuff out <laughs> So I just got back home and Amor is awake now, as you can see. So we're going to give, I'm going to give her a bath and then we're going to go get the rest of the stuff. <laughs> so guys, um, me and Ethan just brought this stuff in. I just ate some pizza from yesterday and fed Amora and, um, we still have some stuff that we need to get out of the apartment. So we have at least a couple trips left. So that needs to get done ASAP so I can start working on this place because it's, this is a chaos. Right now. So we need to, I just need to stay strong. I'm tired, but I have to do it. So let's go. So guys. I just got everything, the last items out of the apartment and I'm leaving the curtains. I don't even want to take those with me. So guys, um, I am super happy that this is the last time I'm going to be in this apartment. I'm going to leave all the bad memories behind. And I'm not going to let this shit bring me the fuck down because this was just like another step along the way in my, on my path of life. So guys, I'm not even sad. I'm not sad. I just, I'm not even sad. It's just the emotions and being in here while it's empty. All right, guys, so I'm going to make this quick. So, guys, I just got out of the van because I'm going in the store to get some Red Bull. And I just got out and I thought this was funny because, um, you know, I heard of Newports before, but I never I never heard of Newports. But, guys, it's a thing. So the following video is from when me and Ethan pulled up to the old apartment to get some of the last items out of there. And there was a whole nother truck and U-Haul parked in the front yard where I had been loading stuff out. And the guy was being rude saying he wasn't gonna move. And they were in my apartment. Okay, well then I'm just gonna have to work around you then. Um, that is my apartment. Yep, get... Guys, we're just trying to get all this stuff in here at this point, and we're almost there. He's just get try I'm stuck in the room. Ethan's got to come back in here and help me with this. So we're at Texas Roadhouse, bottom line, point blank period. We're here about to eat. Ethan's never been here before, so... We're on the wait list, all right? So they're going to text us when we can go in because, yeah, there's a lot of people here. It's packed. But um, we need a real meal because we haven't ate any, like, real food, like, real good food in a minute. So, yeah, let's go. <laughs> We're waiting to be seated. I'm hungry. Amora. What is that? Oh my God. 
God. <laughs> Whoa, girl. <laughs> She's like, I know I gotta pull it apart. She sees, she sees me do it. Dude, they have a huge selection here. They oh, didn't. Oh, they got Man in the Moon one. The, the end of day. They got it. I got your reaction on that too. That was like passionate. That was. Do you have a like a record? Can you play it? Do you have a record player? I want a record player. So here's a little time lapse of well. Ethan mainly put it together by himself. He said he had it by himself. So I was like, all right. So I went off and did other things. Um, so yeah, Ethan's really awesome for that. He's a really smart, he's a smart kid. So that all got done. And um, I'm still amazed that, you know, how we fit everything in this apartment. Um, I am glad that I got rid of some items. All right, guys, we got it done. Look at this. Look at this, guys. We did it. Me and Ethan put all of this furniture together. Guys, I'm freaking exhausted. I'm about done with this furniture or this furniture stuff. I'm about done with this furniture right. stuff. So, guys, I'm standing out here outside of... Um, the apartment that I will no longer be living at. Thank you, God, that I will never have to be in that apartment again. And I'm going to leave all the negative, all the negative vibes there. I'm going to leave all the bad memories here. I'm done with it. I'm moving on. New beginnings on the horizon. And thank y'all for being here with me on this journey. I love y'all. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm being ridiculous. I'm being just ridiculous at this point. Okay. We're in the house. Okay. I'm leaving the curtains. We can have those. Okay. The curtains match the wall. Where? Oh, yeah, they kind of do. Oh, yeah, you know what? Take them. Yeah, take them. And so do these ones, because these ones have dark blue on them. Well, you know what? This It's part of the vlog. It is what it is. Let's get this off of here. <laughs> Oops. All right, we got the curtains. Let's just grab these two while we're at it. <laughs> Never mind, we're gonna take them. And guys, I was gonna mop this this apartment, um, but Jorge took the mop. He took the mop, so he took the mop in the bucket. Um, just leave those. What I really want, oh yeah, this is what I really want over here. This lock, this one, this. It's just this one part right here, just take, take those screws out and bring it. And then there's another one over here. Do you need a light? Oh, you got it. So I'm just doing a quick little walk through of the apartment, guys. Um, guys, I did what I could. I did what I could. I kind of just kicked up a little bit of dust there. That must have fell when I left because I wasn't like that. Um. Hey, Ethan. This lock. I'm trying to kitchen door. Got one all the way at the top. 
I'm gonna go throw these curtains in the van. Throw these ones in there too. Okay. Right. Yeah, oh yeah, this is what I wanted to get off these things. Take, and these two right here, these like hang up so I can hang up the bulletin boards. They just pull out. Yeah, I know. Just like pull them out, I don't know. Oh my gosh. This is some real ghetto stuff here. This is some real silly stuff that we're doing here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys. You know what? I'm trying to get this darn thing out of here. Well, who still does the fire extinguisher? I did it. I bought that fire extinguisher. The one from the lawn? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so actually take that hole there because I bought that. Yeah. Yeah, that's ours. There are so many old ones. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm not going to be the one. I'm sorry. He can keep the deposit. I don't even care. Keep the deposit and fill the holes. Yeah, let's get it. Just like pop it down or something. <laughs> there we go. Whoa! Got it. See, there we go. Alright, now let's do a little. Yeah, guys, look at this. This is how this landlord keeps his his house. Look, look at this. So you know what? I'm glad that I moved because my new landlord is like clean, organized, nice. So this is what was down here in the basement, y'all. This, this whole freaking like, this is a hoard. I'm sorry, but this is a hoard. They can have the broom. They can have the broom. I'll keep the spider stamp. Looks like we ready to go. All right. Everything's empty, guys. I just locked up the back door. We got everything. We got our final items here. We did a whole look over. We looked over everything, right? So let's get on out of here. Let's say goodbye to all that mess and drama and Hello to bigger and better things. Hold on here, guys. I'm just standing next to all these spiders, guys. Like, all right, guys. Doors locked. to leave trash laying around guys so look at Sophie drew that stuff on there isn't that adorable look that's us driving away it's upside down but look that's me driving away to bigger and better things all right all right guys let me stop being weird let's get the heck on out of here it's about darn time. So yeah, Jorge dropped Amora off right at the perfect timing when we were about to leave. Hell yeah, so let's go home. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Let's go home. And let's get this day started. Yeah. Here's Amora being a little cutie pie. She's got her little Christmas jammies on. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You got your little Santa jammies on? <laughs> With the Santas and the trees and the little... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My little Christmas baby. You were my little Christmas present last year. You were my Christmas present last year. That is so cool. You were the greatest Christmas present ever. Really? 
<laughs> All right, girl, ready to get up? <laughs> so, Amora has got her new hat on <laughs> and her mittens. And we're about to go out and run some errands. <laughs> so, I did a little bit of cleaning up around here. So, let's go. We're going into Walmart, guys. Guys, we're at Walmart. This is what I'm getting. More of this stuff. Garbage bags. Red Bull. Tissues, because I'm sick. Some pajamas for Amora, because guys, I'm so behind on laundry, it's ridiculous. Diet Coke and some diapers. And a mop. I almost forgot about the mop, guys. <laughs> and Amora is just over here playing with the fur on her hat. Isn't it the right way? Yeah, it is. Beautiful chairs. I tried not to say anything weird. <laughs> they were beautiful though. Did you see them? Yeah, that's really weird. They got some weird stuff. Though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying because they do like, yeah, they do like really elaborate like ceremonies and stuff in there. Like really elaborate. Oh, Me and Amora are just sitting here. The girls um, found a couple friends across the street, so I walked them over there to go play. Um, and I'm just keeping play. an eye on them. Me go play. So that's what we're doing. Me go it's a beautiful go night. Play. Ah, stay in here. Um, we had a little bit of a not too much of a chaotic morning, but Bubba, I have to sit here with Bubba because. Bubba just keeps acting up like he, I really have to arrange this apartment a certain way and really like got to get crap together because um, Bubba just like tipped over that chair and when he gets mad he just like runs over to something and like it's really like it's really hard to deal with so hey don't do that calm down so um so yeah, we're just trying to situate that situation. So guys, it's a beautiful day today. Um, I just got the kids in the car and we're about to go to country fair cause I'm gonna get them some breakfast sandwiches and me some Red Bull so I can continue organizing this house. Cause believe me guys, it is still chaotic as heck. So let's go. But look how beautiful it is. Beautiful guys. Let's go. So guys, um, it is Tuesday, November 5th. I think it's election day, so the girls don't have school today. Guys, but guys. Baba does have school because I noticed there were some school buses around, so I'm like, wait a second, the private schools might have school. And so we're about to take Baba to school. Guys, it's 825. Um, guys. <laughs> She's like that. Hold my hand. Hold my arm. Yeah, there you go. Dude, it is actually really... Wait, wait, wait. It is actually really bright. Okay, they're letting us go. So we're at um, Sophie's doctor's appointment, guys. Um, update. Um, I, I have chap lips. Horribly bad. Um, I have a headache. Um, I need a shower. And... Um, yeah, you're right. I should probably get checked, too. And... Bubba's at school, so after this, I'm gonna go home and finish doing what I'm doing. And I think somebody messaged me about the bed, so I'm selling the bunk bed, guys. I'm selling the bunk bed. Oh, and I wanted you to see this work of art on the chalkboard here at the doctor. That's beautiful. Look. Okay, so what's wrong with you today? Ma'am. 
What's wrong with you today? Um, nothing, ma'am. Then why are you here? You're making me a little bit nervous. <laughs> I brought my daughter here. Oh, where is she? Right there I'm or right I'm actually here? not sure now. Okay, I'll go get someone. Hand sizer. <laughs> this could work. It's a hand sizer. Hand sizer. Wait, what is this? Oh my god. Whoa. You said you had a that's headache. That's cold. Girl, that's cold. You said you had a headache. Guys, I don't know what's going on here. Um, Put that back. Don't do that. Those, no, don't. A glove, okay, but no. You, now you're messing around. <laughs> so guys, I've been doing a horrible job vlogging um, because I've been just trying to just get caught up on this house so I can like get back onto normal schedule. Um, I have a lot of vlog footage that I need to edit and um, I started editing it actually. And um, oh, but I wanted, what I wanted to show you guys is Bubba got his magnet blocks. <laughs> Bubba. Build the house, build the house. Yeah? Build and the then we got this little sweetie, sweetie. This is how the apartment's looking. It's looking a little bit better, guys. Good morning. Schnuckum, schnuckum, butt, butt. <laughs> It is Wednesday, November 6th, 2024. We all just woke up. It's pretty darn early. I think it's about 6 a.m. And I'm still feeling sick. And I have a lot of stuff to do today. Clothes to put away. Stuff to put away. Clothes to put away. Stuff to figure out. I'm more being cute. Come here, honey bunny. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> there she is. Good morning, Baba. There's a Mariah. There's a Mariah. It is. 6.57 a.m. Uh, we're driving by Waldemir right now, which is the like amusement park that we have here in Erie, PA. And uh, it's pretty cool. Guys, I am so freaking sick. I'm sorry for I'm sniffling. I have like something stuck in the back of my nose and my throat. Like I, I need to get some Mucinex. It's really bad, guys. I'm really sorry. Let me edit this part out. <sighs> So, I'm going to mute that part, but, um, so, Waldemir, we have this cool, um, what you saw that going over the road there, that was the roller coaster that, like, goes over the road. It's cool, whatever. So, anyways, we're going to the peninsula, because we still have, we have some time. We were up early, and, um, yeah, I've been getting up early lately, so I was never a morning person all my life. Never. Never. But you know what, guys? I kind of thank Jorge for that because he kind of got me, like, waking up early, I feel like. So, you know, and, you know, all of his hate and all the haters, you know, motivates me. <laughs> so, you know, thank you. Yeah, so what happens is I take all that negative energy that you guys shoot towards me. And then I just, you know, transmute it into good energy and then use it for my own good. <laughs> and excel higher. So, thank you so much for all those people. So, guys, I don't want to be too loud, but Amora is sleeping. The kids are at school. They go with their dad today. And, um... I'm going to go do some laundry at the laundromat. Because I have way too much to do here. Guys... I'm still doing stuff in the apartment. Been putting laundry away, folding laundry. Put
putting stuff where I want it, you know, stuff like that. And I'm always asleep. I got a lot on my mind. I don't really know exactly where to start with it, but just, you know, I just have to get, you know, the people that don't need to be living in my mind out of my mind, basically. Hi guys. It is Thursday, November. I don't know, now I'm lost track. But it is Thursday, I'm almost 100% sure. And me and Amora are at Sheets. And I started coming here a little bit more just for something different. Me and Amora are at Sheets. I just got my rental. And I ordered some hash browns for Amora because she really likes them. And they are really good guys. So if you never had the hash browns from here, guys, from Sheets, if you have Sheets, okay, this place, the hash browns are really good. And Red Bull is really good too, guys. But I don't recommend getting addicted to that because <laughs> it's... It is pretty addicting, guys. I will say that. Because I can't seem to let it go. But, you know, it's better than being addicted to something much more worse and expensive. And they have all kinds of, all kinds of stuff here. Look, look how many slushies I got. Like... <laughs> They got all this, they got coolers, they got buttery topping. <laughs> they even got a whole dog street, dog street, dog treat station. Guys, they got everything at gas stations now these days. Everything. Like, and I mean everything, everything. <laughs> Coffee pods. All this, all this toys, all that junk. Never mind, it's not junk, it's toys, but I'm being negative. I'm being very negative, guys, and I'm not trying to be negative. I don't want to be negative. And I keep praying every day that I will stop being so, like, hard-headed. But I don't know. I don't think that I'm meant to back down from that. I think I am meant to be hard-headed. Like, I think I need to be hard-headed. Like, I think I need to say what I need to say. So, guys, this doesn't have anything to do with the video, but Jorge really tried to, like, you know, he tried to trigger me today. He tried to, like, you know, obviously he does this all the time, so I'm not surprised, but he tried, um, you know, he was trying to make it seem like he was not going to give Amora back to me today because she had a diaper rash, which she had, this baby never, I've never let her get a diaper rash. She ended up getting a diaper rash this one time and he freaking is telling, he, guys, I'll have to tell you that, read you the text messages, but he was straight accusing me of not changing her enough and he was even like asking me if I know how diaper rash gets there and I'm like yes I know how diaper rash gets there I didn't feed into his drama guys don't worry I didn't feed into it at all oh my gosh guys me and Amora have been folding laundry together <laughs> wow I'm so glad all that laundry is done guys um <laughs> There's still a lot I need to do. I'm still not completely satisfied with how the apartment is, um, but it's definitely getting there. It's definitely getting there. We've made a lot of progress, and I just know that I need to get better sleep tonight because I have not been sleeping well at all. So, guys, I stopped at the house because I figured there's probably some mail here. So, I'm getting my mail, and I do see some packages, guys. So, I'm excited about that. But guys packages so guys me and amora are at the post office and i am about to get a p.o box guys so i'll let y'all know what that is after i get it all right say hi <laughs> 
guys, that post office worker in there was really weird and he was really giving me a weird vibe. Like, he was being super nice to the girl in front of me and was like, thank you for waiting. And then I go up there and like, he gives me an attitude about my driver's license not being the same address. And I'm like, you know, okay, you can't do it like this. And he like, gave, I, I swear to God, guys and guys, <laughs> guys, I will be the first one to stare somebody in the face and say something serious. But this guy straight up just looked at me like with a weird, like lifeless stare and said like, now I'm having a brain fart. He was like, no, I need something that validates this address on here. Like, like I was talking to like, I was like, No, I'm just kidding. I didn't do that. But I was like, okay, sir, I'll go get it. But <laughs> weird vibes over there in the post office. It's giving weird vibes. <laughs> Guys, and you know what? I think it's so funny that people don't realize, like, you know, and I gotta, I gotta, you know, not everybody, not everybody has you know, I guess the gift, you could say, the gift of being able to read people's body language and catch a vibe of how they're feeling towards you by that. And it's like, dude, like, nah, I can't control other people, but that's, that's weird. You know what? I don't, I don't, I don't accept that energy. I don't claim that energy and I'm going, I'm leaving. So guys, me and Amora are at Chick Fil A. Oh, are you okay? Are you all right? You good? Okay, she's good. She's good. Mm. Startled me for a second there. All right, you want some chicken? All right, guys, we're about to eat some chicken. Okay. So guys, Amora is just like being so cute here that everybody in this restaurant. Um, keeps walking by and just you know smiling because she's so cute and she keeps smiling at everybody amora what are you doing hey that sticker out of your mouth so guys i'm here at cauldron and thorn um i just bought a crystal ball guys so yeah, that's what we're doing, guys. And I'm about to take it home. So let's go. Amora's asleep, by the way, too. So I'm just reading this comment here. I'm not even going to reply to it, but I, I, I think it's funny. Nice job hijacking his ghost hunting YouTube channel and subscribers. Seem like you have plenty of time to make all these videos. Single mother of four doing everything would be pretty busy. Seems a little sus. Hmm. So it's suspicious that a woman can handle making videos and taking care of her kids and herself and her home at the same time. I mean, I guess in a world like we live in today, I guess that would be kind of sus because it's probably rare that you see it. So I did kind of reply to that comment, I guess. So there you go. Edward Slankard, 7702. Amora just woke up. Good morning, princess. Good morning, princess. Hi. How are you? What are you doing? You saying let me, you saying let me out of here? Out? Up? Up? Out? What did you say? You want to get out? We still have a lot of stuff going on in here. Um, we just have to find places to put stuff, and uh, I, I don't know, guys. Like, I really, I'm realizing that I have like a lot of stuff, like more. Like, I, I need to get rid of a little bit more stuff. I think. Um, beginning with, or maybe you know what? I can use that storage in the other room. Yeah, you know what? I think I know what I'm gonna do now. I think I know what I'm gonna do. But guys, I want to get a king size bed for this room. 
okay i want to get i don't i want to get rid of those beds and this room right here will fit a king size bed perfectly and i just want to put the mattress right on the floor and just have a whole room like floor bed that's what i want to do um because you know when the kids are here they all want to like sleep with me they all want to cuddle cuddle up and sleep with me because you know we don't get to see each other a lot because their dad has 50 50 custody and the schedule is all weird and it's it's really the schedule is messed up i don't like it really that much it's too like all over the place random it's it's really hard to keep track of you have to have an actual calendar um and i have to like write you know what i mean it's different all the time so this girl is just so darn adorable yeah you don't want your it's cold out there it's cold out there, see? You're gonna wanna keep it on. Nuh uh, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. There's that. Let me put your hat back on. So, I wanna start showing you guys like some of the synchronicities that I see throughout the day because I really see them like quite often. Um, so, this is just one example. I wanna do it really quick. So, I was listening to a song and it had the word covered in it. And I literally was singing the word covered. And as soon as I looked up, I spotted um, the word covered on the back of this truck right here. I noticed that. So I don't know if I can't, I can't zoom in, but it says covered wagon up there. So I'm sitting here in the car with Amora in the, in the van. I don't know why I call it a car when I know it's a van, but um, Amora's back there sleeping and I'm here at T Tops, which is a grocery store, which I don't normally come here. Um, they just remodeled this place like probably like maybe a year ago and, um, I haven't been in here since before they remodeled it. So I'm going to go in there and, uh, do some grocery shopping, um, because I don't know if I told you guys, but the stuff that I did have, which I didn't have much, but I had some stuff in there and I don't know what happened, but like the temperature on the fridge got turned down and everything was just, the whole fridge was not running. So like that stuff got bad. So, um, I'm going to go in here and go shopping. And the reason why I wanted to come somewhere different is because I don't know, I guess I just got led here basically like I just listened to my gut basically and I'm like thinking like where else could I go besides Walmart because I just you know if I go to ghetto mart ghetto Walmart that's over on the east side where my other baby daddy lives um I know this sounds so ghetto guys but you know what it is what it is okay my other baby dad lives over on the east side and there's the Walmart over there is called Ghetto Mart. Everybody in Erie calls it Ghetto Mart. All right, guys. So that's what it is. Um, so I don't want to go over there because that place has like a bad vibe. And um, I also don't want to go to the one that me and Jorge used to go to because I feel like that one has a, a bad vibe. I don't want to go there either. Like the just the thought of there is like makes me depressed so i'm just instead of just keeping thinking about all that stuff that makes me depressed i'm gonna go in here get some food oh god um i'm gonna go in here get some food and then i don't know what i'm gonna do after that probably go back home and finish doing what I'm doing there. I took the Christmas tree box to my mom's house and the other table. I took a couple things over there to my mom's house because I have too much stuff in my apartment right now and I'm waiting for the stuff to sell on Facebook Marketplace. Um, yeah, guys, I'm doing a lot. I didn't take a shower today. I probably should have because I think it would have made me like a little bit more like alert. I think I should always take a shower no matter what in the morning. So, um, you know, Tomorrow, I'm going to try to remember to do that. So, guys, I'm just walking around here in this grocery store and um, just getting some stuff. And um, trying to pick out some, you know, somewhat healthy stuff, you know, that the kids are going to eat. And I just have to say, I don't know why I didn't start coming here a long time ago because the vibe here is so much better like it's way more chill here i'm not like feeling like um anxiety or like depression or anything like that like when i go into walmart it's weird like i feel depressed 
so <clears throat> you know this is you know also a message to you guys too because if you don't feel right doing something or going somewhere you know what i mean like it's probably for a reason like so i i just you know the way i've been like moving around life lately is kind of doing like whatever feels right and like what's most like logical and what feels most right a little bit of like balancing both i don't know if that makes sense but um yeah so i'm about to pick out some cereal i guess i just it, it kills me because like i'm looking at the cereal and like a lot of this stuff like it's junk but like the the other stuff i have to get the kids like liking other stuff because um there's just junk in this food it's crazy and i'm about done with it i'm cutting everything negative out of my life i don't want anything negative in my life including the food we eat that's important that's that's the food we're putting in our body So this trap, this is like crooked. I don't know why it's crooked, but I wanted to show you guys really quick what I got at Tops. Supposedly I'm gonna get food stamps tomorrow, I hope, but so that's why I didn't really get a lot, but I got these French fries to cook with these dinosaur shaped chicken breast nuggets. This pizza for cheddar, four cheese. This is really good. Some diet Pepsi. And also got some goldfish and this granola stuff for me and the kids if they want to eat it. I'm gonna try to get them to eat it. Bread, a loaf of bread. I got some bananas and paper plates. Eggs. I forgot to get butter. Oh yeah, and the case of water's in the car, so. Yeah, guys, there's my little mini haul. Hope you like it. So me and Amora are in Family Dollar right now, and she's just dope over here being so cute. I had to get out the phone and start recording because you're being so cute. <laughs> I'm getting this curtain rod, the front door, the curtain, and toilet paper. Just trying to get out of the van for two seconds so I can get my package. Because I noticed that there's an Amazon package up here at the old house, of course, you know, I'm over here at the old house and, you know. Ooh, I don't know what this is actually. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, did I check the mailbox? My brain, I swear, guys. Okay, yeah, there's nothing there. Okay, I did put in my change of address, so, um, We just opened up um, the who, dentist toy. Yeah, who got the ice cream toy too? Now I gotta look. Look at guys, that kitty. Sorry guys, I got distracted by a cat over there. Shout out, so, shout out to Mariah. Amy. Shout out to Amy. Mommy for Maddie. getting me this. Thank Mommy you, Amy. Mommy and thank you, Amy, for my broom and mop who organizer. I'm very Amy? excited to put that up. Oh, sorry girl, who I didn't mean to hit you. you? Um, yeah, so guys, if you're wondering what this is, so I had a piece of like dry skin that was like hanging off my lip, and um, it was annoying me, and you know, I, I couldn't help myself, and I, I pulled it off, and I pulled my skin off, guys, I literally pulled my skin off, and that's why it's like that, so let's go home. Why, honey? So we just got home. We just got in the house. Literally just got in the house, guys. Bubba's asking for his magic box. He already figured out where they were. He already peeped them out. Bubba, how about you take off your shoes first? And Mariah got her journal in the mail. And it said it would go this one. It would come this one day. Never came. And now it came. You should, you so guys what do you guys say? Thank you. Thank you. You, could, you guys should have shown her reaction. She was like, <gasps> so we, gotta thank, so. we gotta thank Rose Prater for this plate for Amora. And also Amy is the one I think 
I have to double check, but I think Amy bought... I got to double check. But we definitely got to thank Amy and Rose. And if there's somebody else, I'm going to figure that out right now. Amy bought this for me. Yes, she did. I'm curious about that. That's that's legit. That's in a box and everything. That's pretty cool. So, guys, <clears throat> it is Saturday. Um, I'm about to post this vlog from, like, the past week. However many days this was, I don't even know. It's been complete chaos. Um, and I'm exhausted. I have not been getting good sleep, guys, at all. Um, <laughs> I got rid of a lot of stuff today. I've been getting rid of a lot of stuff. Um, yeah. <sighs> Thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you on the next vlog. Bye. Mwah.